right, you guys, the Yak is back with another video. And today we're gonna be doing some auto crossing. I'm uh, going with my buddy Joe. He is actually the owner of the new shop that I'm gonna be working out of. It's uh, Patriot Performance in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. So finally got the car pretty much sorted. So this will be the first day that it actually sees a race event. And uh, autocross is pretty easy on your car typically because you're in second gear. So it shouldn't be that hard on it. And it'll be a good test to see if the car is ready for like a big track event. The only thing that I'm a little nervous about is I still do have an open downpipe and in the rule book, there is a decibel reading that you have to be under. I think it's like 106 decibels at 50 feet. Um, but I did talk to one of the guys there who also has a loud car and he said to not worry about it. He said you'd be surprised at what actually passes uh, that decibel reading. So hopefully I'm good. And uh, my buddy Joe's car, it's a Mustang, it's a Fox body and uh, he's got no cats on the thing, so it's super loud also. So he's actually probably gonna take some attention off of me. So uh, once I get there, we gotta get teched in and we're running a little bit late. So um, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film before the event starts, but uh, I'll try and give you guys a quick look at the car before we get started. I got some new tires on there too. All right, we just got out here, just got teched in. Uh, Civic's all teched in. Joe still needs to finish ratchet strapping yeah, down his battery. battery. And then uh, oh, he's... I, I need that tape though. Okay, I'll, I'll grab it. He wants the, uh, uh, the positive tape. Oh, my and, well. Gotcha. And then we, uh, we should be good to go. All right, so I just finished working cones and uh, I'm getting the car ready. I just put a little bit more oil in there because I do have that oil leak still. Um, I think it is still coming from the valve cover. I just cannot get it to seal. I'm probably gonna have to get an OEM valve cover gasket, but uh, it should be fine for today. And then uh, what else have I done before this event? Oh, I wanted to try and get the boost controller set up, but I didn't have time. So I ended up ripping out that four port boost controller because it was gonna be an issue. And I have a three port. I just don't have it hooked up obviously yet. So I'm just running the line straight to the gate and we should be making six pounds. So I'm just gonna take it out, hope it uh, stays together, and uh, I'll be happy if I can just run all six, uh, all six runs. So Joe's out on course right now, and uh, pretty sure he went off course on his first one, but we'll go over there and try to get a GoPro on his car for his last couple once he feels confident in the car. It is fun to hear this thing just... I'm gonna get your start. <laughs> he told me the dude holds his ears. What's that? He told me that the dude holds his ears every oh, time yeah. I start. He does it for a couple cars. Does he? felt better i went a little slower in the spot that like i always end up scrubbing tons of speed and sliding yeah, you're probably faster oh. then 
All right, so Joe's Cummins coming back right now, which means I'm up. So I got uh, pumped up the tires a little bit. I'm just gonna run around 32 pounds in each tire because they'll probably heat up. So I'll be around like 35-ish. So I'm not gonna, trying to be competitive. I'm just trying to keep the car together and have some good runs, have some fun. So it is the next day and I was gonna close out the video um, yesterday, but I was just too tired by the time I got home. So both cars ended up doing great. Um, we didn't run into any issues with either car and uh, we learned a lot. Um, I know some things now uh, looking back that I can do better for the next event and uh, we will definitely be back out there. Both of us had a ton of fun and uh, learned a lot. So that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. In the next one, I am gonna take you guys over to the new shop, over to Joe's shop uh, that he's letting me work out of and give you guys a little tour. And I will be back uh, doing welding things. So if you are subscribed to the channel for welding content, I will have some welding uh, coming soon. So stay tuned and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.